Hello everyone, welcome to Tasha Unveiled. My name is Tanisha and today I'm going to talk about my interview experience with Dun & Bradstreet as a data scientist. I'm not only going to cover Dun & Bradstreet, I'm also going to cover all of these companies on my left hand side here, which number one are fintech companies. Number two, although they have numerous projects that they work on, but one similarity between these companies is that they work heavily on credit reporting or credit risk or scorecard models, which again falls under the finance domain. Make sure that you watch this video till the end, because in the end chapter, I'm going to talk about the feedback and the top pointers that the hiring manager of these companies look for in a candidate. So I began working in Dun & Bradstreet as an intern. So firstly, I'm going to share with you the interview experience as an intern that I had within this company. Um, I was uh, interviewed by a senior data scientist. It was a telephonic interview round. And the questions that I was asked uh, were initially, uh, obviously, he wanted to know a little bit about myself, the kind of exposure I have to the technical skills and the kind of uh, course that I'm doing currently. At that time, I was doing an MBA in finance. So after a brief introduction, uh, the interviewer jumped on to a little bit of SQL. He started with the basics. And when I say basics, uh, a few logical functions were covered. Uh, joins were heavily covered. Uh, for example, I was given a few data sets with certain columns and I was asked that the resultant table should look in a so-and-so manner and I was, you know, required to perform a few joins, uh, transform a few columns so as to that the, you know, the resultant ma uh, table matches with the table that my interviewer wanted uh, as the final table, right? So this required a lot of uh, familiarity with uh, left joins, Difference between inner join and outer join, uh, cross join, cell joins. So you should be confident in all of these joins when you are uh, you know, interviewing, at least for an internship. Uh, and for SQL, uh, I have another card above, which talks about the only topics you would need to crack 98% of the interviews. Apart from this, I was asked a little bit of Python, but at that time I was much more familiar with R. And that was my first learning as a student that 80 to 90% of the companies utilize Python and heavily work with Python. Highlight over here is that since it was a telephonic round and this interview happened in the COVID era, uh, my interviewer made sure that he had some sort of speed with the questions that he was asking so that I am given enough time to resort to any unfair methods or, you know, sort of look up the answers of the questions. So if I would take uh, you know, a little bit time to, you know, give an answer to a certain question, the question would change. You would jump on to the next question. Coming back to the interview, uh, the interview was then redirected towards the domain knowledge that Dun & Bradstreet is uh, all about, which is finance. Um, I was a bit confident in answering my interview questions around the domain knowledge since I was doing an MBA in finance at that time. So the questions that were asked to me uh, within finance were uh, telling me, the top financial key performance indicators that any company like DNB would look uh, at, you know. Uh, so I gave a list of certain, uh, you know, uh, measures like gross profit margin, net profit margin, working capital, quick ratio, asset test, sales to growth rate, debt to equity ratio. So all of these ratios, like he would, he uh, would go in a such manner that he would tell me to name top five ratios. And then if whatever ratios I would choose, I was asked to explain all of those, uh, you know, measures or KPIs in a one liner. Uh, so this is where I want to highlight this point that guys domain knowledge matters a lot. If you know things about the business is only when you can utilize our data and some data science skills. If you don't know what the data set is, what the data is trying to tell you and what are the solutions that you can provide or to a certain problem statement in the very first place, then there's no point of you, you know, being equipped with data analytics and all the technical uh, skill set and the knowledge. So I hope this helps you. The next interview that I had was after six months, which was, which was the interview for the internship conversion to full time as a data scientist, right? So after having worked for six months as a data science intern, I interviewed for the position of a data scientist, right? Now, this interview was taken by uh, the vice president of the company and a senior data scientist. Um, having said that, that I, will, I had already worked with four projects. I was asked to pick top two projects that I you know, received most of the learnings from. 
and i picked the statistical model that i had built preeti began uh, you know taking over the interview by asking me the business understanding he wanted to know that uh, how much um, of the business problem statement that i worked on uh, you know was understood by me what were the things that i could gather from the business problem statement uh, how much of it i understood how did i you know build uh the uh, pre processing function or the how did i work with the pre processing methods of the initial data set that i was given to and he sort of jumped on to the uh, statistical model that i had built so he asked me uh, the evaluation metrics that i had taken to build that model and just for your knowledge that was a classification model so soon after that i jumped on to the confusion matrix and that's when i was asked questions like number 1 what is the difference between precision and recall number 2 what is the f1 score and also uh, the interviewer was very keen on my understanding with the false positives false negatives the entire confusion matrix right and he also wanted me to answer that uh, in this particular problem statement how much importance does false positive hold uh, as compared to false negatives since this was a model built for the customers we had to make sure that we don't penalize the good customers while we are you know uh, highlighting the bad customers or the customers which are uh, abusing a certain promo code of a certain payment app so if you are a bit aware of the credit risk models you would know that uh you know false positives and false negatives play a huge role over here for the freshers i can take an example of cancer detection or cancer diagnosis model that you would have seen on kegel and many such platforms over here as well uh you know for example false positives would actually detect cancer in a person who is healthy and false negatives would do the opposite so you need to make a strike a balance between the two and you need to make sure that your model is neither too lenient nor too strict to penalize the uh, you know the healthy um, healthy patients or to not detect cancer in patients who actually have that disease right so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say over here is you trying to draw a line between the business understanding the business implications and the data science skills that a certain candidate would have soon after the interview was taken over by the senior data scientist and he started to ask the pre processing methods that i had resorted to while working on the data set uh, he also like i was sharing my jupiter notebook on screen share and uh, he asked me to you know he gave me a few sample data sets and he asked me to do a certain operations which revolved around merges so you should be equipped with pandas merges um, a few operations that he wanted me to apply on the entire column or the entire row again uh, used like i heavily used df dot apply function uh pandas in python for uh, you know uh, doing these operations or performing these operations on my screen share apart from this uh, i also worked on a model which uh, you know required the basics of nlp so for those who are interested in nlp i was asked questions like how would i so in this case what i did was i web scraped a lot of data so when i say i web scraped you can imagine that the data was unstructured right so the interviewers wanted me to know how did i convert this unstructured form of data to a data frame uh, basics of nlp like uh, stop word removal what is the difference between bag of words and tf idf what is word to vec so these basics were asked to me uh, make sure that you are well equipped with the nltk library and you know pandas really well uh in case you want to uh, understand what all topics are to be covered within pandas my video is here on the card above make sure that you watch this video till the end to understand the uh, most important functions within pandas okay guys so this was the interview in a nutshell now coming to the most important part of this video which is the feedback i'm going to talk about the uh, key pointers that the hiring managers of all of these companies look for in a candidate right number one communication skills right uh, they focus a lot on the way a certain candidate is structuring his or her answers the explainability factor is you know uh, taken into deep consideration just because uh, the projects that you would be working in such companies right uh, you would be uh, you know dealing with a lot of clientele uh, you would be uh, having a lot of back and forth communication with the clients 
so for this uh, the hiring manager you know sort of assesses your uh, communication skills how well can you explain a certain factor both in technical terms as well as in layman terms because most of the uh, clients can not be technical leaders right they can also be a uh, sales manager or people who look the who look at the marketing side or the business side of the projects data manipulation skills uh, in terms of uh, sql or pyspark uh, you can clear the interviews easily with the help of people who do not have to worry about pyspark uh, these companies will give you a hands on training for that now when i say data manipulation uh, right you will be pulling a lot of data sets day in and day out so the final data set that you would be uh, working on would be a lot smaller but uh, that data set would require a lot of sql joins and a lot of sql functions and sub queries to you know to for you to be able to pull that data from databases which have nearly millions of records so for this sole reason the interviews look at your data manipulation skills scoring knowledge so uh freshers out here don't worry it's just for anybody who has already worked with this domain so in case you worked with this domain make sure that you flaunt this side of yours and sort of you know show it to the interviewer and if you're a fresher hiring managers don't look for freshers having uh, knowledge about credit risk or credit modeling or you know building scorecards right and last but not the least when you since this is a data science interview right make sure that you begin with the easier algorithms first like the statistical algorithms or the simple uh, ml algorithms like linear regression or logistic regression uh, the only reason as to why i'm mentioning this because in case you go to the complex algos uh, this company uh, and companies like the dnb work heavily on complex algorithms and they might ask you questions on concepts like entropy or weight of evidence or information value now when i say weight of evidence is uh, you know it basically tells the separation between good and bad customers and in credit risk it's all about a you know tendency of a certain customer to go default or to not pay his or her loans back so all of these concepts are very tricky right uh, you can be exposed to such questions so only for this reason uh, you know i would say that you can begin with simple algos first but in case you're confident with your complex algorithms like random forest or xgboost then go ahead and give it a shot right i'm going to post more such videos of my interview experiences with an other company There are a lot of jobs which are coming in the market nowadays a lot of companies are hiring i thought this uh, in this uh, video would be really you know uh, would really come to your rescue and would Uh, work for you while you're making your last minute preparation before any interview so in case you've liked my video please drop a like and a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please 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 subscribe to my channel i'm hoping to make our family of a 1k subscriber family soon so stay tuned and apply smart all the best take care of yourself